Over the past few decades, technology has advanced our understanding of space and the universe. From telescopes and satellites to spacecraft and computer simulations, technological advancements have revolutionized how researchers study space and opened new frontiers for scientific exploration. In addition to these technological advancements, there have been numerous technological breakthroughs in space travel. Spacecraft such as the Space Shuttle and the International Space Station have enabled astronauts to conduct long-term space missions and conduct microgravity experiments. Spacecraft have been used to study planets, moons, asteroids and comets up close. These spacecraft can capture high-resolution images, analyze samples and measure various physical properties such as temperature, pressure and magnetic fields. The Voyager and Cassini missions have provided us with unprecedented insights into the outer solar system and beyond, revealing details about the rings of Saturn, the geology of Mars and the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. It has a diameter of around 116,460 kilometers, that's 72,367 miles, at its equator. Its mass or weight is approximately 5.68 by 1,026 kilograms, 95 Earth masses. At a distance of about 1.43 billion kilometers, that's 886 million miles, or 9.54 astronomical units, Saturn circles the Sun on average. Its dense, colorful atmosphere is covered in whirling clouds of various hues and shapes. Its winds are the second fastest in the solar system, with top speeds of 1,800 kilometers per hour, that's 1,100 miles per hour. Because of the elliptical nature of its orbit, it experiences variations in its distance from the Sun. The orbital period of Saturn is roughly 29.5 Earth years. As a result, a year on Saturn is about similar to 29.5 years on Earth. Around its equator, Saturn also revolves on its axis, completing one revolution in about 10.7 hours. It was named after the Roman deity who oversaw agriculture and crops. Saturn is considered a gas planet because it is composed mainly of gas and does not have a solid surface like rocky planets such as Earth or Mars. Its atmosphere comprises hydrogen and helium, with small amounts of other elements like methane, ammonia and water vapor. Unlike rocky planets with a solid surface that can be explored and studied, gas planets have no solid feeling and consist of thick gaseous atmospheres that become denser and hotter as you move towards the planet's core. Scientists believe Saturn's core comprises rock, metals and hydrogen compounds. Still, it is difficult to study directly because it is buried deep beneath the planet's thick atmosphere. Another defining characteristic of gas planets like Saturn is their solid gravitational fields and large sizes, allowing them to capture and retain many moons and other objects in their orbits. At least 82 moons, including Titan, the second largest moon in the solar system, vary in size from tiny, oddly shaped rocks to enormous ice giants. Because of its thick atmosphere and characteristics that are similar to those of Earth, such as lakes, rivers and mountains, Titan is of considerable interest to scientists. The Babylonians were the first to see Saturn. Still, it was when Galileo pointed his telescope at the planet in 1610 that its actual nature started to be recognized. Since then, several satellites have been launched to explore Saturn and its moons, notably the Cassini satellite. When the Cassini mission was launched in 1997, it traveled to Saturn by flying across Venus and Jupiter. Due to three mission extensions, it spent 13 years updating our knowledge of the system after entering orbit in 2004. More than 450,000 photos were taken as six named moons were found. 
At 5,600 kilograms, that's 12,300 pounds, upon launch, Cassini was one of the most enormous and most intricate interplanetary craft ever built. 32.7 kilograms, 72 pounds of plutonium was incorporated to power the spacecraft and its equipment. 12 scientific tools, separated into three groups, were aboard Cassini. The first was the optical remote sensing suite, which included cameras for viewing the Saturn system in the infrared, visible and ultraviolet spectrums of light. This made it possible for scientists to map the makeup and textures of the planet's atmosphere, rings and moons. The second group of tools focused on fields, particles and waves. The majority of these instruments monitored the spacecraft's environment, including charged particles and dust from Saturn and Titan's atmospheres. Moreover, there were three instruments, one to detect radio signals from Saturn and two to map Saturn's magnetic field and its interactions with other areas. The third and smallest set included a radio scientific system and radar for penetrating Titan's thick atmosphere. The communication antennas of the spacecraft would transmit radio waves through the Saturn system's objects to Earth and track how they changed. The Equinox mission was a phase of the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft's exploration of Saturn and its moons. It was named after the Equinox event on Saturn, which occurs approximately every 15 years when the planet's rings are edge on to the Sun, causing them to cast a thin shadow on Saturn's equator. The mission was designed to study this unique event and to explore other aspects of Saturn's system. During this time, Cassini made several close flybys of Saturn's moons, including Enceladus, Dion and Titan. The mission also provided detailed observations of the planet's atmosphere, rings, magnetosphere and moons. The Huygens probe carried by Cassini had its own set of six pieces of scientific equipment, which were used to study Titan's atmosphere as it descended to the planet's surface. Cassini used technology to measure the planet's rotation rate, which was more intricate than anybody had anticipated. Several of them are inspired by Saturn's magnificent rings. According to Cassini, Saturn's rings are composed of ice and rock fragments ranging in size from tiny like a sand grain to the propeller moonlets that pierce the smaller fragments. It discovered that most of the material in the outermost ring originates from the water jets that erupt from the moon Enceladus and recorded waves in the rings that showed part of Saturn's internal structure. Similarly, Cassini found intriguing clues concerning Titan, Saturn's giant moon. Over 127 flybys of Titan, the spacecraft examined the moon's thick, hazy atmosphere. The Huygens probe also collected important atmospheric data as it descended through the cloud. After landing on Titan, it beamed back images of the surface. These tests showed a complex molecule-filled atmosphere, liquid hydrocarbon clouds and liquid methane and ethane seas, the only liquid seas discovered on the surface of any planet other than Earth. They also offered proof that there was an ocean of liquid water under the massive moon's surface. Together, these factors make Titan a suitable location to look for extraterrestrial life. Enceladus is an exceptionally alluring target for the search for alien life since these substances are considered crucial to the evolution of living things. The Cassini spacecraft also saw a sizable cyclone or tornado during its mission on Saturn. In fact, throughout its mission, Cassini saw several of these storms on the gas giants, including one that persisted near the planet's North Pole and had the form of a hexagon. The Earth's smile on Saturn is a phenomenon that occurs when Saturn's rings are illuminated by the Sun and the planet Earth is visible in the background. When this happens, Earth appears as a small pale blue dot in the image, giving the appearance that the planet is smiling at Saturn. 
The first Earth Smile image was captured by the Cassini spacecraft in 2013. The image showed Earth and its moon, Venus and Mars as tiny specks of light in the distance. The image quickly became popular on social media. It was widely shared as a symbol of our planet's place in the cosmos. Since then, Cassini and other spacecraft have captured several pictures of Earth's smiles on Saturn, each offering a unique perspective on our planet's relationship with the solar system. These images serve as a powerful reminder of the beauty and fragility of our planet and the importance of protecting it for future generations. The massive cyclone in Saturn's southern hemisphere in 2010 was one of Cassini's most dramatic storms. Almost two-thirds of the area of Earth, or 8,000 kilometers or 5,000 miles, was thought to be covered by this storm. It was considered one of the strongest storms ever seen in the solar system. The storm's winds were measured reaching up to 530 kilometers per hour, that's 330 miles per hour. The Cassini spacecraft performed a maneuver known as the Grand Finale to conclude its mission. It made increasingly near passes between Saturn's planet and the ring system. The only way to guarantee that it would never crash into any of Saturn's moons and infect them with any Earth microorganisms that managed to latch onto it was for it to fall into the planet's atmosphere in 2017. Because of the years the Cassini probe spent in orbit around Saturn, we now have insights into the planet's inner and outer workings that were previously unavailable. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.